you know, when a guy busts a nut, like right after that, there's a window of like six minutes where he, he does the most rational thing he ever does. That's when he's always horrified. Ah, oh, 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 oh. God, what have I done? Oh my God, it's everywhere. Ah, ah. Baba. As funny as that Dave Chappelle bit might be, these feelings of sadness or anxiety immediately following sexual activity are actually much more common than most people think. The phenomenon he's talking about is frequently referred to as post-nut syndrome or post-nut clarity, but it's actually a much deeper psychological issue than those names lead most people to believe. And given the amount of people who have reportedly experienced these feelings, it's actually pretty surprising how much is still unknown about this strange phenomenon. So what is post-nut clarity exactly? What causes these feelings and is it actually a real thing or is it just something we all make up in our heads following the euphoria of a sexual experience? Well, before we jump into the science and psychology behind this phenomenon, I'd like to provide you with a more layman's perspective for those of you who aren't yet in the know. This is how I describe it. Having an erection and get, getting excited is right. like sitting in the back seat of a really long bus. Okay. And there's some other guy up there driving the bus. Most of the time, you're driving the bus. Not when your dick is hard. When yeah. your dick is hard, there's some other guy driving the bus. <laughs> yeah. And all the windows are rolled down. There's papers flying around. The horns honking. <laughs> dun, dun. And you're looking at life taking place through a dirty windshield 100 feet away from you. And you're like, do you even know where the fuck you're going? <laughs> <laughs> we passed the stop. <laughs> And your dick's like, just shut the fuck up and calm down. I got this. <laughs> and then when you come, all of a sudden, the fog parts, and you're at the front of the bus holding the wheel. Yeah. And you're like, what? What am I doing here? Yeah. How'd I get here? Ah! And you look down at your dick, you motherfucker. While those two might not give the most eloquent description of these feelings, hopefully you now at least have a basic understanding of what it is we're talking about. So let's get into the details. Despite its more humorous street names, in the scientific community, this phenomenon is typically referred to as postcoital dysphoria, or PCD for short, which is described as experiencing negative feelings such as sadness, anxiety, or unease directly after sex or even hours afterward. And although the previously featured comedians were all men, up until recently, PCD was long thought to predominantly affect women exclusively. But this is mainly due to the fact that the only notable investigation of the phenomenon was from a 2015 study by Dr. Robert Schweitzer in the Journal of Sexual Medicine, which focused solely on women. He and his colleagues surveyed 230 female university students and found that 51% of them had experienced these negative feelings post-sex at least once in their lives. However, in 2019, Schweitzer returned to his research of the topic, this time focusing on males. He and his team analyzed data from over 1,200 men and found that 46% of the study's participants reported experiencing PCD at one point or another, only 5% lower than the female percentage. Therefore, the researchers concluded that gender didn't really have any significant impact on who experiences the phenomenon or not, and that PCD symptoms are prevalent in the general population and can occur in spite of an otherwise physiologically functional sexual experience. So then, with that out of the way, what really causes these negative post-sex feelings? Well, given the limited scope of these two studies, the authors weren't able to identify a single definitive cause of PCD but they do have some plausible theories. The first of which is actually surprisingly pretty close to Joe Rogan's explanation. During and leading up to sex, our bodies excrete higher levels of dopamine than they normally do, which is what causes that aforementioned euphoric feeling. So in order to combat this, once the sexual interaction has reached completion, our brains release oxytocin to calm us down and return our cognitive decision-making skills to their normal levels. This rise in oxytocin and sudden drop in dopamine may possibly be linked to the manifestation of PCD-related emotions. The euphoria that dopamine creates can cloud the mind until it begins to dissipate, causing those feelings of sadness, regret, anxiety, or realization to come to the forefront of the mind once they're no longer obscured by sexual urges. But another possible explanation for PCD is related to an individual's sexual history, more specifically the environment and beliefs they were brought up with, as well as any past sexual trauma that they may have gone through. 
It's a sad reality that most people don't grow up in sex positive environments. Many of us are taught that sex is shameful and that those who have sex are dirty or slutty, which can lead to some people internalizing those sentiments, even if they don't personally believe them. One of the researchers explains, once that passion and trance-like state subside and you come back to full composure, you might experience shame or regret for what had happened. That vulnerability and freedom that felt good in the moment might now feel like it was too much, like a hangover, and the shame rushes in. So the resulting response is to shut down, pull away from your partner, feel down on yourself, or experience an overwhelming rush of sadness. Furthermore, the authors point out that past traumatic events connected to sex could also lead to PCD symptoms arising. If an individual has a traumatic sexual history, it can affect them even during healthy sexual experiences. So it's not too hard to believe that this type of trauma could also lead to feelings of shame or sadness post-sex as well, especially when there are other factors at play too. Another one of the more interesting theories for PCD, specifically from the male perspective, suggests that men, particularly those in Western cultures, face a range of expectations and assumptions about their sexual preferences, performance, and level of experience. Dr. Schweitzer explains, these assumptions are pervasive within masculine subculture and include that males always desire and experience sex as pleasurable. However, the experience of PCD contradicts these dominant cultural assumptions about the male sexual experience. Or more simply, this cognitive disconnect between what an individual male feels and what his peers claim about their own experiences could lead to these negative feelings arising after sexual completion. This brings us to the last theory for PCD that I'll be discussing, and also the one I personally find to be the most logical, which states that these negative feelings don't stem from anything during the sexual encounter in question, but rather what comes after. It's pretty common for sexual partners to engage with each other intimately following intercourse, including activities as simple as talking, kissing, cuddling, or otherwise just bonding with one another, all of which have been reported to increase sexual and relationship satisfaction. But unfortunately, the period after sex isn't always comfortable and loving. Sometimes it can be awkward or even just kind of terrible. This can result from many different things, but it primarily comes from a lack of intimacy, negative communication, poor sexual fulfillment, or at least one partner being disappointed that the sex didn't lead to a deeper emotional connection. The authors go on to explain that PCD can be very situational, relating to the quality of that particular act of sex. It can result from feeling empty or unsatisfied or unfulfilled by the act. It can come from a feeling of resentment from not being seen or met by your partner or that you matter to them. Or it can result from the fact of feeling empty and devoid of connection throughout the experience. Therefore, while there might not be one set cause of post-nut clarity or the post-sex blues, it's clear that post-sex satisfaction is heavily dependent on the situation at hand, as well as the individuals involved and their respective sexual histories. So if you or your partner has been experiencing these feelings, it's not really something you need to worry too much about, because many people ranging from various different backgrounds, genders, sexual preferences, and experience levels have all felt similar emotions following their own sexual interactions. So don't get offended if your partner seems a little down after sex, because it's probably just them trying to understand all the emotions they're currently feeling. When it comes down to it, sexual experiences can be far more varied and complex than most people think. So just have some empathy for your partner and try to communicate with them in a respectful way that allows them to voice their emotions and concerns in a safe and open environment. As long as you do that, everyone should be able to have a pleasant experience before, during, and after getting their nut. But with that all being said, I still want to know what you think too. So let me know if you've ever experienced PCD. And if so, how did you feel and what do you think caused it? Do you agree with the theories presented or do you have an explanation of your own? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content and want to see more. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more frequent updates or to request a topic you'd like us to cover in a future video. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Times New American, and have a fantastic rest of your day.